will help you just feel better. They're going through emotions and they're going through pain too. And how they feel might change. She's so docile, I can do anything to her. And she'll just curl up. Hey loves, it's Ronnie. Welcome back to my channel. Now, you already read the title. I'm going to be telling you guys how to win a breakup. And this is a get ready with me. So as I prep you for this video, I'm going to prep my skin because it's very dry right now. So I first want to say that breakups are not a competition. Because if you're mature enough to be in a relationship, then you should be mature enough to break up. As most of you guys know, I was in a relationship for a really long time. I was with my ex for three and a half years. And we recently just broke up. So as you're watching this, as you're sitting there, like, I have been through the pain. I have been through the hurt and I feel for you. And I'm sorry. And I'm here for you because it sucks. Especially when you think that like you're gonna marry that person and then you really just have to change your whole mindset about everything. But like I was saying, through the emotions, through the pain, through the hurt, through, first of all, you shouldn't be playing any games. I don't even understand the rules of the games, to be honest, but there should be no games. And through all of those emotions, if you're mature enough to be in a relationship with all those emotions, then you should be mature enough to break up. If your ex is trying to play games with you, let them play with themselves. You need to use this as a learning experience and grow from this. Because if you don't grow from it and if you don't learn from it, then it was just a waste of time and it was all for nothing. So do your part and learn and grow. You know when you're ready cry a day or two but literally only a day or two what does the bible say about like crying the night and rejoicing in the morning or something you need to do that i'm doing my everyday makeup by the way um because i'm going to work and i don't put a lot of makeup on for work so i'm not gonna prime my face but be open and honest about how you feel. Don't try to hold in what you're feeling or play tough. Feel your feelings. Because if you don't, it's toxic and you're just gonna hold it in and have built up issues the next time you try to get into a relationship or just in general. Know that a righteous man's steps are ordered. So if you broke up, you were meant to break up. Whether you're getting back together or not, at this point in time, you broke up and you're meant to be broken up. So stay broken up, no contact. Another thing is don't let breaking up change your character. Don't become unrecognizable to your family or your friends or your ex. Don't allow your heart to harden. Don't become hateful. And don't paint your ex as the villain. Okay, in some circumstances, your ex is the villain. But in some circumstances, they're not. So don't paint them as one. And whether they are or whether they're not, you still don't want to talk about your ex. Did you guys know that hatred is murder? Hatred is just as bad as murder in the Bible. And when you wish bad things upon people or laugh when people are going through pain, that's hatred and you're committing murder in your heart and your heart is hardening and that's not good. You don't want to be there. You don't want to go backwards. Okay. You want to excel. You want to grow forwards and be the best version of you, which means not being hateful. Give yourself time to heal and process. And like I mentioned before, cut off all communication because honestly, you never know what the other person needs. Sometimes you think 
because the person might seem okay the last time you talk to them or um, they say that you might end on good terms but you never really know what they need you never really know what they need because they could be you know they're they're going through emotions and they're going through pain too and how they feel might change Cutting off communication will also just give that other person, even if you don't need it, first of all, if you're trying to communicate emotionally and you're just like ranting and dumping on them, dumping your emotions on them, don't do that because you need to process your own emotions and they need to process their own emotions. But if you're trying to communicate because you think it's okay or you're at a point where you're okay or you think you can be friends right away don't communicate let yourselves each process another thing you need to do is heal what is praise and trust God whenever you're hurting whenever you're going through it know that Joy and pain don't mix. So the moment you start rejoicing, the moment you start praising God and being happy, or not being happy, but you just choose another emotion, it's going to fill you. If you need a break from the sadness, try really, um, really praising God because he will grant you joy while you're praising him. And if you're going through it, reach out to God. Suffering is supposed to bring us closer to God anyways, you know? Call out to your father. He loves you. God, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just so hurt. Bro, like, you don't... I did that a lot. And look, I'm okay. <laughs> and in the beginning, I was going through a lot of things. Because I wasn't just going through a breakup. I was going a lot was changing my life at the time become a better person and build better habits like I said we're not stagnant over here okay we don't let a breakup happen and then just sit there no 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 no, no. or or decline or go backwards in life honestly what do they say about revenge I mean, we're, hey, revenge is the Lord's, okay? But, you know, like, if you, if you let yourself become your worst, then your ex is probably gonna be like, oh, it's a good thing. I escaped that while I could, you know? Um, but regardless, we don't do anything for our ex, especially not anymore. You wanna do it for yourself. Become the best version of you. Don't you want to excel? Build better habits. Become the person that you wanted to be. The person who you see yourself being. Anything that like you couldn't do with your ex, not like negative things. Okay, we're not we're not starting an OnlyFans over here. But things that you couldn't do or felt insecure about, start exploring those things respect the relationship that you had don't speak on the other person one it only pains you to be the bad guy because you're doing something negative by speaking on that person even if they're speaking on you let them play with themselves because people are going to think what they want to think but we know the truth okay we know what kind of person we are so don't speak bad on the other person respect the relationship you had don't paint the other person to be the villain. Remember all of the good times you had. Don't just try to be avoidant and only think of the bad times that you had to convince yourself that you hate the person and be stuck in a loop of hatred and murder in your heart. Don't do that. Think of the good times, appreciate the good times, understand and process the bad times Think about where you could have both been better so that in your next relationship or if you get back with that person again, 
it's a lot healthier. We're only progressing from here. We're only progressing. Just because there's a change in your life doesn't mean your character has to change. I mean, hmm. I guess there is a change in your life, then you will change. Especially a major change like a three and a half year relationship. But are we changing for the better or are we changing for the worse? Are we changing as someone who is now traumatized and doesn't want to be with anyone? Or are we changing to grow better fruits of the spirit? Work on yourself, invest in yourself. And you can only truly focus on yourself if you go no contact. If the other person is playing a one-sided game, because we don't participate, but you keep your character, then your ex can't be mad because you're being who you've always been in the person who they know you to be. Whereas they're becoming unrecognizable to themselves and you and letting their emotions take control. If you participate in communication, you guys are both just hurting yourself. When are you gonna stop hurting yourself? You know, you don't wanna focus on hurting yourself, you wanna heal yourself and not communicating or not playing in any games will help you just feel better it will be less baggage now this one is really hard and it's <sighs> but it's gonna help you and it's gonna help you improve Sorry, just, I can't, I can't do both. Oh my gosh, guys, I got a job promotion, by the way. I now work full time out of school. Woo! It is exhausting though, I'm not gonna lie. Because I work with kids who have behavior problems. I mean, love them, they're great, you know, but sometimes they're a lot, especially if there's a lot at once <sighs> all right this is hard but you need to imagine your life without them start imagining your life without them and start living it whatever happens is gonna happen you know what I'm saying like whatever happens will happen in the future but in terms of you, imagine the life that you want to live. Imagine your life without them and then start living it. For me, that just looks like, what does that look like? That just looked like hmm, waking up earlier, being more productive, having more time for myself since I would always go to them, now I am home and I invest in my house. I'm making so much more content and I'm so much more consistent. That's a huge thing. Now that I have time for myself, I have time for you guys. I also may or may not have gotten another cat. <laughs> I'll show you at the end of the video. If I if I can get it, I'll show you at the end of the video. But as you come up with this list, right? You need to turn to God. And as you heal, make sure your eyes are on God. Don't become wrapped up in temporary things that are not going to fill you. Remember my last video on spiritual discipline? No, didn't watch it because it was too long. Watch it. It was very long. Um, imagine editing it. Edit, edit, imagine editing it. That was, man, that was work. But hey, we got it. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of you for like maybe watching it. I'm so proud of me for editing it and recording it and spending so much time with God to make sure that, you know, I was doing all of it. Never waste anything.
you know? And when I say that, I meant like the, the hurt with all the discipline that I was going through. Uh, it's all worth it because I made a video about it and helped you guys. Does my camera keep going out of focus? Anyways. Um, keep your eyes on God. Don't feel- Oh! In that video, I was talking about the Hansel and Gretel in the gingerbread house and how right when they became hungry, starving, famished, a house appeared made of things that looked appetizing but wouldn't fill them. If you don't go home, eat the food at home in your fridge, those leftovers that will fill you. Okay, God isn't a leftover. Y'all get what I'm saying. Build confidence in Christ because those insecurities empty voids they're just going to build more insecurities where if you go the other route and start building a better life with christ start working on yourself investing in yourself that's building confidence you don't want to build fears you want to build confidence we're only excelling here we're on a roller coaster that only goes up my friend that's from the fall in our stars this mascara is out you see like i'm really just I have to go, like I'm gonna be late for work. Oh, I still have to get dressed, guys. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna come back all finished, but... Trust God, accept how you feel. Feel the feelings, feel the emotions, don't keep them pent up inside. And then work on yourself. If you need to cry and mourn in the nighttime, mourn, then come up with a plan, then focus on it with God helping you. Because God, God is here to help us. God helps us. He loves us. He helps us. He accepts us. His heart breaks when we're in pain. He's empathetic. He's sympathetic. God will help you. Come up with a plan and live it. BRB. Hey, I'm back. Look, I get the little girl. She's so docile, I can do anything to her. And she'll just curl up. Pretty girl. Pretty girl. Her name is Soli. Soli Artemis. Get it? Because she's a tortie. Good girl. She's so docile. Right? And you love me? Mm-hmm. Not so much her sister yet. And if you don't know Ari, this is Ari. Oh, she's a bigger girl. Yes, she is. Oh, and she's a dilute calico. You see her orange on that side? Mm-hmm. Yes. And you always love me. You always do. She's not very happy right now, but she's still very docile even though. Right, mama? All right, I'll put you down. Oh. I put this vest on. I have this vest on. These, I look like Sorry, my tripod is so long right now and I can't do anything about it because I have to go to work. Bye. Love you guys. And if you're going through a breakup, know that I feel for you. I literally have been there. Okay, but it will get better. Only God and time can heal. All right, good luck. I love you guys. I'm so sorry that you're going through it. I really do think, and I'm not just saying this because I'm a YouTuber and I want you to watch my videos, but I really do think that my last video will help you. You know, but do what you want. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.